what is up everybody and welcome back to something different actually uh i do play off camera for fun sometimes i know kind of crazy or uh to try some new things for you guys and so i was thinking why not if there's something interesting some games that i liked or the enemy or i had like a creative draft why not just uh, showcase it you know and so I'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start with this one. They're going to be cut because, you know. All right. So I went with Zio, Moon Bunny, Leia, and Judge Kise, and Polly. So the idea is was to have two books uh, to make sure my Judge Kise has a soul brain. And then I went two CR pushers to make sure just she say actually takes the turn because she's not that fast. She's actually about 235 on destruction set. As you see, I push with Mumani. She has attack buff. I burn to defense break his whole team. And then S3. And it actually does a surprising amount of damage. Look at that. That is great. So, I thought that was a cool draft, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Welcome back to the second clip, actually. I think I'm just going to mark them down and do, like, six, maybe, for a video. I'm not sure, so. Uh, right here, we have a fight against Amst in the global server. Uh, here, I'm just going to tell you about my thought process uh, while I was drafting. So of course he first picks Zeo, pre bans Billion and Candy. So I pretty much know he's cleaving. So my problem usually is that I don't have double cleanse. Um, because usually they go, yeah, Ron and Elegos, and obviously Zeo has a debuff. And then if my whole team is defense broken, obviously I lose. So I've had this tech for a while, is uh it's Emma Cheaties. It's like um it's like when we used to use DGB back in the day in Anti-Cleave, you know, he gets the Eternus and cleanses. That's kind of the point. Uh, same thing here. So, and to make sure I draft Double Cleanser, I picked her first, so I don't forget later. And then I went Karina, because, you know, he's the best Anti-Cleave unit, in my opinion. Then he goes for the usual Ron and Emma Ludwig. I respond with Eaton. Eaton, in my opinion, is the best anti-cleave tank. Um, he has a built-in escort, pretty much, that can't be stripped. It's 30% of damage taken. Um, and I run him on barrier set, which gives everybody a 3 to 4k barrier around there. And he's on adamant. So it's a lot, a lot of damage reduction. Um, then I went Dilibet. He went, whatever, Billy Ghost and I don't Pavel and I go. I actually have a counter RB. Um, he's kind of tanky, 17k HP. Uh, usually does a job. So let's see. His run is actually faster than his Zeo, which is I don't know, kind of weird, I guess. I think I remember he might have he F once here. I guess to not proc the Delibet, but all his units are faster than Zeo, so I don't know. Maybe that was a misplay. Maybe he should have burned here and Delibet could have gotten pushed back by the Eligos. But all right, he defense broke my Karina, ults my Delibets to make sure she doesn't cut. But as you can see, they're not taking a lot of damage. This Ian is doing massive. Massive tank work right now. Odin burns us to one in S3s. Normal stuff. My Karina does die. But look at his damage. Ian ends it all. He doesn't die. Dilibet gets to go. And she's on portrait, so she does a lot of damage. And here you go. RB is here for cleanup. He hasn't died yet, so even if they, he doesn't kill... He reses and kills them, so yeah, that's kind of like how I like to draft an anti cleave and how I beat it most of the time. I just need to remember to have double cleanse, otherwise, it's really hard. 
All right, on to the next clip. All right, here is clip number three. Um, I managed to pick Kron and Amelia. I thought it was kind of cool, so uh, let's go right in. So I do get first turn here. I I did think Vihu would be faster, but he wasn't fast enough to beat my Leia, so that was good. So I think I just dual attack here because my Gala gets to go anyway. So I did dual attack into Moon Bunny, and then I will be ulting LRK. And that makes me push. So my Amelia will also take the next turn. Just like this. And I think... I think I'm gonna push my Gala. Just to make sure she cycles. Right? Because I know Bihu can S3. And remove one buff. So I was just praying that it was... Stealth, to be honest. Uh, not stealth. Like, he removes attack buff and uh, damage limit. Let's see, he gets to S3, whatever. But he wants to S3 to remove the stealth from Gala, of course. And it also pushes his 10A. So he has 3s, but I get to keep my stealth. So I'm safe. But it's not over. Because my counter buff on Charon got stripped. And here is probably his misplay. He doesn't burn with Stenny here. And doesn't kill my Kiron. Bad. I'm going to Moon Bunny. Gotta kill her ASAP. Um, he will kill my Gala here. 16k, that's a lot of damage. Kill my Kiron, but can't quite kill. So I can cleanse and push. And I was like, do I S2 or S2? I'm just going to S2 to give him attack buff. And uh, I'm just going to rip all, right? Because Stenny is going to kill me anyway. No At least kill the Moon Bunny. So I do ult with Charon. Boom. Do like, I don't know how much, like... 5, 6k uh, fixed. I don't remember what he was at. But then here, I thought it was going to be over, because he did hit uh, my Leia twice. But, I get to cleanse here and heal. Boom, get a little barrier also. And then I'm pretty sure Bihu can't kill me here. Nope. Even if I resisted one, I would still burn S3 and have my ult. And heal back. Boom. Then Stenny is low and she's not on life steal, so I get to duel. But it's still not enough. But I don't think he could have killed uh, Leia or Amelia. So I get to push my Leia again. And he surrenders. Alright, that was a pretty fun match. On to the next clip. Here is clip number four. This is a pretty funny one, actually. Um. I'll just tell you, like, what I was trying to do. Basically, I picked Sid to have a speed imprint, and I just sprayed that I outsped the uh, Fateless. That was the whole point. And, uh, guess what? <laughs> Alright, so my plus 10 speed actually made me take the turn. So, my whole team takes a turn here. But... That's not the only thing. So I S3 the candy. Like, alright. My Emma Sharoon actually takes the turn above my Sid, and she's slower. I'm not sure how, but I'll take it. So I push everybody back. So Landy's defense broken. So here I just go on Fateless. Don't want her to put skill null or anything. And then I go on Candy. Don't kill, but. I does devil. <laughs> I does devil into Landy. And it's pretty much over from there. He does try to um, do something, but uh, Leia is really tanky and she was on proof. He, there's no way. There's just no way out. 
So I'll probably burn into the hand guy. I mean, not hand guy. The DDR. I'll dual attack into Shu. Boom. Get the bzz damage. And he's going to go for the S3, which I'm not sure was the play, but... Boom, that pushes my Sharoon 50. Which wasn't a big turn. But... It's fine. Stenny was pretty close to killing, actually, here. Look at that. He hits both the targets. Ah, uh, but it doesn't go on Leia this time. I don't think it would have killed anyway. Boom. He dies from the cascade. And yeah. Alright, for this clip, I went for ML Shu, Lua, Moon Bunny, Arunka, and Alvira. Then he went for Crimson Armin, Destina, Candy. And Malona. And you will see why I picked Arunka. But it's kind of risky. It's kind of risky, I'm going to be honest. Really Alright. So, so I'm pretty sure I just go for a S2, S3 here. Oh, no, actually, I, I just S1. I just S1, right? Yeah, I think I S1. I do S1, get countered. Which is fine. No salvo. I'm gonna attack buff everybody. Really important here. And now I need to make sure not break the barriers because I picked Arunka hoping he was on protection set, of course. And then Arunka goes and extincts the landy. I'm on Little Crown. Yes. But it's not over. It's not over. Because Malona will be invincible by Crimson Armin. He goes on to Lua, doesn't kill. Which is fine. He's gonna put immunity in immortality. Boom. But now I can S2. Because she's gonna lose her barrier anyway. But she kept it here. And I get the S3. But he still has his barrier, but. <laughs> ML Shu is faster than Aruka. I'm always open to new opportunities. And then Come on, Shu. <laughs> Boom, the barrier is gone. Here I was scared. I was like, uh oh. Well I'm just gonna S2 next turn. Well, when she's not asleep and I'm going to die. You have no value to me. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep attacking Crimson Armin. I don't really have any targets. They're all invincible. So he's going to S3. To cleanse the Malona and heal the Carmen. I do have S3, but... It's not enough to kill. I did not have injury stacked on her, of course. Ooh. My Malona is like dead. Does he soul burn here? Yeah, he does. Boom. My shoes half HP. Malona doesn't have a barrier, so Arunka is pretty much a dead unit. <laughs> and she's on counter. <laughs> and she's on counter. I do get provoked. 
I don't proc my extra attack here, which is good probably for me. Attack buff barrier again. I can boom. Soul burn S1. Do some damage. But I lap. Can I rook a kill? Oh yes she can. Oh yes she can. <laughs> Oh, this strat is really risky because I did it again with another guy and uh, he wasn't on barrier set, so I just insta yielded. Huh. But yeah, on to the next one. Final clip is actually just me cleaving a cleaver. <laughs> um, I saw his pre bands. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go Zeo. I thought he was going to Zeo trap me, but then he went Ron and stuff. So, but to be honest, I thought he was going to ban Zio. I think that's his mistake, but... And I got to use him all Rana. Okay, so his... Um, Veronica is not on Guiding Light. She's on the old key, for some reason. So I get to push her back. And then... My Lionheart's Tremia was for this play right here. So then, yeah, I wasn't going to hit the Aiden. So I do get to proc far from over. And then I just S3. My line of heart is kind of fast. He's uh, 209 on speed set. So I was pretty confident if it wasn't a really fast Aiden that I would lap over her. And I did. To be honest, I was kind of scared here. I was like, wait, Barwitch is kind of slow. Maybe she's full damage and I just explode. And then she laps me or something. But no, I did get to survive and just win. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.